What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Alrighty. So, we took a nice trip down memory lane. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, we're in Viridian City, as you all know, and I'm not singing that song right now, but yes, we, we took a trip to Viridian City because, you know, we heard of a gym out here, and unfortunately, there's no gym leader. Apparently, there's supposed to be some kid from Palatown. Uh, supposed to be the gym leader. I don't know. I think I thought we were done with this whole, you know, anonymous gym leader thing. So, our next adventure is going to take us to Pallet Town and then Cinnabar Island. Yes, yeah, Cinnabar Island, because we still have to figure out what's going on over there, you know? The volcano blowing up and all that stuff. So, let's just move on. It's nighttime, like always, and uh, I'm trying to figure out which way to go. Oh, yes, yeah, this way right here. So, here we are, route number one, where it all began, and it sounds so peaceful. I am not going down there, but look at that, trees are growing. Look at that, we're getting a bitter berry, but you know, my backpack is filled up. So, uh, let's just let's just move on now. Here's a new thing about route one, is that there are actually trainers right here. And what Pokemon did I left off with? Hmm, Fox and Batman. Okay, alright, let's go. Bring it on. If trainer meets, for, uh, if trainers meet, the first thing to do is battle. Not really. We say hi, how you doing? What's up? You know, my name is. Not battle. So here we have Schoolboy Danny, and he's coming out with his jinx. Wow, this is. You are very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Okay, let's finish this guy off right here, and uh, I do not have any kind of bite attack or anything like that, so I'm just going to fly away because this guy, this chick right here is going to destroy me. I wonder if there's a male version of uh, Jinx. I'm just asking. I wonder if that's even possible. I, I am really, really wondering. And uh, that was an easy victory right there, right? And he's coming out with his Electabuzz, so let's go ahead and use our Electabuzz. You know, Kid Thunder, that little champion of the world. Look at that. Oh, you think you're tough? Take a look at my kid, Thunder. That's right. Alright, so what do we got? Um, let's go with this one. Iron Tail. And it missed! Holy Jesus! Wow! So we're both missing attacks right here, and uh... Second try is always the best one, right? Here we go, Iron Tail. Does it do it? Does it finish him off? No, it doesn't! That Electabuzz is, you know... A little lucky Electabuzz right there, but that Swift Tech is not going to work with you. Let's finish him off with a little Thunderbolt right here. See if he can uh, actually withstand my Thunderbolt. And look at that. Not very effective, but yes, it makes him faint. That's right. And uh, which other Pokemon do you have? Megmar? Yes, he does. He has three, the three rare Pokemon right here. And uh, you know what? Let's go with Nessie. It's been a while, Nessie. Not really. There's... Sergeant Butthead right there. And here's my Nessie. You know, this guy. This guy right here. With the Surf Attack. Alrighty. Surf Attack. Goes in there. Finishes him off. Heck yes. See ya, Magmar. Bye bye. Buh freaking bye. And, uh, hmm. There goes Danny. Danny's like, oh, I've got a losing record. Yes, you do. Wait, you mean this is your first battle? What the hell are you doing with three good Pokemon? I'm wondering. Okay. Um, enough of him. I think there's another trainer right around here somewhere. Mm, oh, yeah. There she is. Waiting for our sweet and sour you-know-what. Okay. I'm just going to try and sneak away. Oh, she's going fast and I didn't even move. Oh, God. You there. Want a battle? No. Of course, I have no choice in the matter. Yeah. Okay. Bring it on. Here we have cool trainer Quinn, and she will be coming out with her Ivysaur. Okay, so she's from Pallet Town right here. Alright, Fox and Batman, do your stuff. Fly. Fly like the eagle. And uh, that growth attack, yes. A special attack went up, and uh. Yep. Fly attack always trumps over the, 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 the grass type Pokemon right there. Look at that. Easily. Bye bye. Hey, Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman's doing his thing right here. Look at that. You know, he's looking at that. And he's coming out with a Starby. Okay. All right, we're going with the same order again. Kid Thunder to the rescue. And uh, what, what, what do we got? What do we got? Kid Thunder ready to wreck some you-know-what. Let's go with uh, that Thunderbolt right there. As you can see, it's very easy. 
Yeah, you know, Starmie's just, yeah, not that strong right now. Hmm. I, I kind of feel like these Pokemon trainers should be just a little bit stronger, you know. Just a little bit. Down and out. Yes, you are. Down and out. And I'm going to go away. I don't want to talk to you. And, uh, well, I know that we're going to be capturing some Pokemon right here. No, not really. So here we are, guys, where it all began. Our hometown of Pallet Town. Yes, I am. I know that I'm from, like, in this game, I'm from New Bark Town. But really, my heart is here. New, or Pallet Town. Yes. And, of course, two good houses right here. My house and this a-hole blues house right here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on after three years. And uh, would you look at that? Daisy's here. She's like, hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out uh, out of town so often, it causes problems for the trainers. You're telling me. You are telling me. Now, I'm going to go come back right here. And yes, this is Red's house. But, you know, you guys already know that I'm Red right here. So he's like, mama, I'm home. How you doing there, mama? What you doing? Hi. Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is, where he is, or what he's doing, or what he's been doing. They say that no word is proof that he's doing fine, but I do worry about him. I'm right here. I'm right here, Mama. Anywho, look at the old room right here. I wonder if he still has a SNES or a NES or something like that. No, he's playing the Nintendo 64, so they upgraded. Oh, man, they upgraded to a Nintendo 64, and uh, let's see. It looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Wow. But, yeah, I haven't been gone for quite some time. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, the, the dude right there. Now, that's two places you can actually visit. And here we go into the professor's office, or not the professor's office. I always say that. The professor's, uh, not gym. But his lab, and here is the man, the myth, the legend, Professor Oak. He's like, ah, Draven, it's good to, uh, of you to come all this way to, uh, to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers here, or out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting, uh, Kanto gym badges. I imagine that th that's hard, but the experience is sure uh, to help you. Come see me when you get all of them. Uh, I have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, Draven. How's your Pokedex coming? Let me see. Of course... I do have 78 Pokemon. You know, I've been doing some catching off screen, that kind of stuff. 205 Pokemon seen, 78 Pokemon owned. Professor Oak rating to evolve some Pokemon grow, others use the defects of stone. You don't, you, you think so? I, I, have you meet, have you met Razor? You know, my victory bell, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that Pokemon. So, you guys already know, there's nothing here to do. This is where it all started. And, of course, we're going to have to go to Cinnabar Island. Now, remember, something bad happened over at Cinnabar Island. Apparently, there was some volcano. And we're going to have to see what what's going on right there. You know, um, is it okay? Is uh, Blaine okay? You know, the gym leader Blaine? So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Please tell... Oh, yes, I have a... Ooh. Wow, I only have one max repel. we got to make this work right here. We're going to go all the way from Route 21 all the way to Cinnabar Island and yes we do have trainers waiting for us right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch it up to Teddy let's go let's do this let's get this on right now if I win you have to help me with my po my suntan lotion all right okay but if I win I'll still do it anyways I don't care look at that Swimmer Nikki wants the battle Swimmer Nikki sends out seal Alright. And it's clapping. You know, thunder clapping right there. And, well, it looks like I win because your Pokemon are pretty weak right here. So let's do this. Teddy, just faint attack all of them. You know, go easy on them. I got some, I got a trainer to suntan lotion. And, uh, oh crud, oh crud. He still survived. Or she still survived. I'm sorry. And, uh, let's go with that return. We should have stuck with return right there. Yeah. There we go. Seal. Gone. Yes victory for us and cinder you know growing hp growing levels and she's gonna be coming out with another uh, seal right here so let's go ahead and bring it on again with the uh, return attack right here there we go and there goes seal bye 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 seal and uh let's see we got that okay so let's see seal again wow this is the seal trainer i'm sorry the seal pokemon trainer 
going up against a Teddy Ears, or an Is or Serang, I should say. And, uh, there we go. Say bye-bye. Seal. Gone. Victory. Yeah, more victories. Look at that. Level 60. Cinder's finally reached level 60, and he's finally learning Flamethrower. Wow, okay. Alright. I gotta go, I gotta take away Fire Punch. It's got, it, it, it's served its purpose. So right there, we got Flamethrower. That's some good stuff. And uh, Nikki coming out with her Dugon. I'm going to stay with her Serang right here. And he's like, hi. But I'm going to go with, hi, return attack. Oh, yes. The return attack does its job. That's right. The return attack makes you look very, very bad. And Nikki has been defeated. And, uh, well, I'm worried about a, about a sunburn. Eh, I'll still give you a suntan lotion. Whatever, I don't care. All right, let's move on right here. And wow, we still got fishermen right here? Wow, okay. Talk to this guy. He's like, I'm bored. I'm bored by fishing. Let's battle. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, homeboy. Let's see what you got. So we have Fisher Arnold, not Schwarzenegger, but he's coming out with his Tentacruel. That's one mean looking Tentacruel. All right. And uh, let's go with Teddy right here. Teddy goes with the faint attack. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Just faint attack away, but, you know, it doesn't do that much damage. Oh, God. Come on. Let's go with that return attack. You know, it's much more powerful. It's because my Pokemon likes me. It's been with me for the past, what, 60 episodes? 61? Yes. That's a long time. It's almost a year right there in Pokemon time. And, uh, look at that. Utter failure! Yeah, utter failure, boy. Uh, let's see. I'll just go back fishing. Yes, go back to fishing. Let's go. Nessie, do your thing right here. Who is next? Who wants to battle Who wants to battle the Pokemon League champ? This guy? Yes, let's go. This guy's like, Lane Ho, gotta keep going. Did you just call me a hoe? It's not cool, man. Why are you calling me a hoe? Speedo Torpedo here, Seth, wants to battle. So we're gonna send out the Quags there. Ooh, kinda reminds me of my Lucky right here. You know, and kind of like my Lucky, not fast enough, a little bit weak, so here we go with that return attack. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Quagsire. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. Bye-bye, Quagsire. And let's see, what do we got? Oh, uh, Octillery. This is probably going to be like, no, this is not the first time we've seen it. So let's go with Kid Thunder. Give him some loving. All that great stuff, you know. And look at that. Octillery looking like Homer Simpson ready to attack. Same shaped head and everything. Here we go. Thunderbolt attack. Oh, yes. There goes that Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt destroys Octillery. That's right. Oh, yes. And Cinder, of course, you know, mooching off everybody's experience points. And, uh, you know what? We gotta switch it up right here because, of course, uh, uh, you know, Kid Thunder can't do nothing against this guy. So I'm gonna go with Relic. Relic. Okay, Relic, do not faint. This Pokemon is easy. Remember, you have a Quagsire uh, as a teammate. And here we go with that Psychic Attack. Psychic, does it work? Is it going down? Yes, sir, indeedy. And there goes that well, Quagsire right there. And, uh, well, as you can see, Glug, Glug, Glug. He is no more. I'm gonna move out of the way right here. And uh, would you look at that? I think we just got to Cinnabar Island. And as you can see, we are in Cinnabar Island. So we're gonna stop by right here and uh, see, you know, the outskirts of Cinnabar Island. As you can see, this whole thing was not here when we were here last time. So that must be the volcano. And uh, let's see, there's a notice here. Cinnabar Jim has relocated to the Seafoam Islands, Blaine. Huh, okay. Alrighty, and uh, we go right here, Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning desire. And, uh, well, as you can see, there's really nothing else. Now, if you go right here, that's right, you find yourself a rare candy. Always needed, okay. And, uh, huh, you look familiar right there. Why are you spinning around? Are you a Pokemon trainer? Alright, let's talk to this guy. Who are you? Well... It's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name is Blue. I was once champion, although it was only for a short time. 
That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. Take, take a good look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on and on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. Dot, dot, dot. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm, in, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. Alright, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Viridian Gym to battle him. Not really, I'm just joking. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Soul Silver or Heart, Heart Gold, he's gonna be right here waiting for you. And once you talk to him, of course, he's gonna say you have to get the seventh badge in order to battle him. That's that's a pretty much a, a prerequisite to go to, to Gary or Blue. Talk to this guy, he's like, it's been a year since the volcano erupted. Okay, I'm just, you know, asking away. Cinnabar Island, or Cinnabar Jim's Bla uh, Blaine apparently lives alone in a Seafoam Islands cave. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, because this Blaine character seems like a very interesting character. I'm just asking, I'm just saying. He sounds like a very interesting character. So we're gonna just go ahead and talk to him and see if he's interested in, in, in a battle or something. You know, that kind of stuff. Alright, let's move on right here. And, uh, oh crud. I just realized that there is no Pokemon or Pokemart right here. So, I don't, I don't know how many steps we still have on our Repel right here. Now, let's talk to this guy. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. It really isn't. It really isn't, man. Have you checked out the map? It's really long. It really is. And here we have Swimmer Cameron wants to battle, and he's coming out with his medal. Alrighty. Let's go. We're gonna take on this Pika Blue. Eliminate him. You know, that kind of stuff. Let's go with that Earthquake attack. Oh, yes. Earthquake. For the win. Fatality. There we go. Alrighty, okay, and uh, what else we got? What else? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. So he he he, he just doesn't. What what is it? Besides the sea, I want I also want to run, swim ponds and sw and rivers. Okay. Whatever, dude. You're weird. And uh, wow, just like that, we got to the Seafoam Islands, huh? Wow. Okay. So there's. There's been a huge change around here in the Seafoam Islands, as you can see. It's only one island now. The this cave has, or this, you know, this island has been closed off or anything. And then it's only this one right here. And no, you cannot do the the missing go cheat right here as well. So <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. But okay, let's see. What do we got? What does this say? Seafoam or Cinnabar Gym or Cinnabar Gym leader Blaine. Okay, so this must be it. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what, switch up our Pokemon right here. You guys probably already know this, but yes, Blaine is a Fire-type gym leader. Let's go ahead and talk to him. And Wow, it sounds like a gym, but what the heck happened to the Seafoam Islands? Blaine, what the hell? It used to be long, it used to be big. It used to have, a, you know, it used to have a stream right there, a stream right there. What the hell happened? Seriously, what the hell? Okay, so technically this is the new Sifo or the new Cinnabar Island gym. Got to talk to this guy if you guys want to battle him for another gym badge, which you kind of have to. So let's go right ahead. Wow! My gym in uh, Cinnabar burned down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of that volcano. Wow! But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better had bring burn heels. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we have another gym battle. What is this, number 15? Yes, gym leader Blaine wants to battle you. And he's going to come out with his Macargo. Macargo. Okay. So going into the next screen right here. Hold on until I get to build Bulbapedia. Sorry about this. This is like the last time I'll ever do this, guys. Like, dude, I completely forgot that I was going to have a gym battle right here. Okay, let's go. Blaine. Blaine, okay, we're gonna go to Blaine. Blaine right here. Blaine, okay, come on. Come on, be cool, man. 
Alright, so here we go. Blaine, the fire type gym leader, seventh gym leader in Kanto, number 15th in, uh, you know, this series right here. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Red, Blue, and, or Red, Blue, and Green, he did have four Pokemon. A Growlithe at level 42, Ponyta at level 40, Rabidash at level 42, and Arcanine at level 47. Those Pokemon were pretty strong. Now, going into Pokemon Yellow, he had three Pokemon. He had Ninetales at level 48, Rabidash at level 50, and Arcanine at level 54. Now, that was a strong team. Now, moving on forward to Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, he now has three Pokemon, a Macargo at level 45, Magmar at level 45, and a Rapidash at level 50. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Moving on to the next screen right here. All we need now is a Water-type Pokemon, like Nessie right here. Yeah, get rid of this Flame Snail. That's right, that's quadruple damage because you're, what, you're a Rock-type and a Fire-type? Heck yes you are. Alright, look at that, Nessie doing its thing. Cinder, 742, not doing a single thing, and here he comes out with his Magmar, so I'm going to go with the next best thing, Teddy, because he does have a ground type move, let's go, Captain Butthead is right here, and uh, Captain Insano is right here, okay, Earthquake Attack, let's go, let's hit this one, and, well, as you can see, sounds pretty good that, you know, we're doing something right, and Magmar has been defeated. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 at, look at Teddy right here. And here he comes out with his final Pokemon, Rapidash. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go with another Pokemon right here. Who should I go with? Cinder? Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's go. Fire. Let's play Fire versus Fire. You know, use Fire against Fire. I think that's a good strategy right here. Let's go, Cinder. Bring it on. Oh yeah, by the way, I have Dig Attack, so good luck with that. Look at that. He just disappears for a little bit, and that rat or that fire spin is not going to really do much. But here we go. Dig Attack. Finish him off. Come on. Oh my god. Rapidash, you've been saved. And wow, there comes that Fire Blast attack that, you know, we're kind of not worried about. Really not worried about that one. And uh, it takes a nice amount. And uh, let's go with Flamethrower. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, I see how it is. I see what you're doing right there. You're using your most powerful fire type attack, and I'm using my second fire, or, well, the second most powerful fire attack in, in the game right here. And it's really not that effective, but you know what? It gives me the edge right here, because here we go with that dig attack. That's right. Dig in a hole. Fire blast miss. Here we go with a dig. Say bye-bye. And there you go. And that's how you win a Pokemon battle, guys. Take notes. Take all those notes. Oh, yes. And he grows experience points like nothing. And would you look at that? Gym Leader Blaine has been defeated. Awesome. I burned out. You've earned Volcano Badge. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So there it is, guys. Our 15th badge. We got one more to go. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar gym, we'll have to have a rematch. Alright, okay. It is what it is, and it, what are you doing here? Yo! Huh? It's over already? Sorry, sorry! Cinnabar gym uh, was was gone, so I didn't know where, where to find you. But, hey, you're plenty strong. Even without my advice, I knew you'd win. Yeah, I've had quite an experience, so... See ya! Okay! Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go. Um, yeah. You know what? We're going to stay right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the Viridian City Gym. But we're going to take a small detour. We're going to be traveling right here because I see a trainer wanting to battle us. So stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow, there will be another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk. See you guys.